players will show up each morning at nine. They'll open the door to hear Madam Wine. I'm so blue, hoo, blue, hoo, blue, hoo, blue. I'm so blue, I don't know what to do. She's so blue, 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 blue. She's so blue, she don't know what to do. Her butlers, whose names were Bob and Lily, were happy with chores in our house in their tree. Bob would wash dishes for Lily to dry. Madam would stack them and then start to cry. I'm so blue, 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 blue. She's so blue, she don't know what to do. These dishes are faded, their edges are chipped. This world is on back, well done, this one is flipped. These spoons are too tiny, these forks are no good. These knives have gone dull and don't slice like they should. My neighbors have nice things I've seen them myself. In fact, I keep pictures up here on my shelf. Look at this new flatware of Monsieur Lacoons. And Monsieur de Plan has 12 Franklin mint spoons. And Philip Van he went and bought a new sink. Why, he even has a disposal, I think. And look at this crop of the Madame Lacrosse's and ceramic jars where she keeps all her sauces. Nice sauces. I'm so beautiful. She's so blue, she don't know what to do. Just look at this sofa of Edward and Tammy's and lovely of well, but they keep all their jammies. I really can't stand it. I think I might die. Now, where was the hanky? I'm going to cry. Too late. <laughs> this was a curse of a typical money. The things that Madame Blueberry had did not make her happy. So she would gaze at her mantle and pictures and cry for the things she wanted. She was a very blue belly. Her butlers would try to help her, but this did no good. Now, now, Madame Blueberry, you have a lot to be thankful for. Good friends, a place to live, plenty of food. And you got us! <laughs> ah. Bad boy! <laughs>